had us all food. I was thinking he was a woman the whole time. You did a good job. And he responds back, ah, you a lie. It's over for you, Cece. No need to respond back. I got the proof. She responds, call me back. Don't do this. <laughs> he responds, five months not seeing my kids. I'm doing this. No remorse. You will be blocked. See you soon. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's holding women accountable and them hating every second of it. And just like that, we're back with another episode of Holding Women Accountable and them hating every second of it. Let's go. This woman, her name is Hot Girl 2K. Oh, my God. That tells me all I need to know about her. She a hot girl out here in these street girls. All right. So she says, this mask got my cousin fired for making up a story and posting. Why do that? Why are you? Why? And it's a three-letter word, A-N-D. Why don't you just spell out the whole? That's lazy. You're going to put the A-N-D. Oh, I can't stand people do stupid shit like that. It's not even the acronym, stupid. <laughs> she making up a story and posting it in the group. All she said was her baby daddy was a vendor. And it was a harmless joke. She sent it to him and caused his work and shows the thread and now she fired. A mom of three now struggling because of that snitch hate her. And she got this picture of Daphne right here, the queen of accountability. That goes to tell you that her sister ain't no better than her. Now she don't realize how serious it is to put the title of offender on somebody's name. You can't ever call somebody a offender and then backtrack and be like, oh, it's a harmless joke. That is nothing but harmful. That was a harmful joke. That's why Daphne held your sister accountable, idiot. I guess somebody tagged Daphne in this tweet because Daphne was able to respond. She says, so you ran to Twitter to say this? Your cousin lied on the father of her child. She said that he was a offender. She posted that in the group chat with over 70,000 members. There's nothing funny about that. He deserved to know what was being said. You don't have to like it. Exactly. The woman responds back, I don't give a f Men are disgusting and he deserves it. Oh, so she's a man hater. Okay. That's what we really get into the bottom of. I hate you. Stop snitching on black women. Stick to the girl code for once. We have groups about you and can see to it that all your pages are removed. Women in numbers. So this ignoramus just admitted that she's a part of the hate Daphne club. Yeah, there's this Facebook groups out there with 30,000, probably 40,000 plus members now that all just bash on Daphne. They hate her. They feel like she is destroying <laughs> the girl code. And what's the girl code? Toxicity? Evilness? Hatred of men? That's, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like they want protected. Daphne responds, get me shut down then. You're more upset with me than your cousin who could have gotten the father of her child killed? I will not let a woman lie on someone who is innocent. Call a man a offender is a death sentence. He did what he felt was necessary. Stop threatening me. Mess with Daphne if you want to, girl. She'll be the last one you mess with ever. So the hot girl Summer responds, working on it now, trust me. You are hated by many and loved by few. It's actually the opposite. You're so damn ignorant, you don't even understand that. I know you scared. You always losing pages, Daphne, like you lost your mom. And that's how you know somebody's evil. Because they always run to that. Daphne responds, deceased mom jokes? Okay, then. Be right back. <laughs> Please stand by. Uh-oh. The, the hot girl Summer, she responds, I'll be waiting, Daff Daff. Y'all, what's coming? What's coming? I figured you would say that, J.P. Morgan. What? Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? What? 
Wait, what, what, whoa, 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 whoa. The girl responded back, my bad now. What, what, what you mean, my bad? What you, what you talking about, my bad? Daphne responds back, that's not an apology. Say it with your wig, loud and proud. She says, I'm sorry now. You can do it. <laughs> oh, Daphne found out who this woman was that's hiding behind this dang on brave profile picture on Twitter and Hot Girl 2K account, huh? JP Morgan, that's who you work for? Oh, sound like you got a job that may pay some decent money. And you don't want Daphne to go in there and tell them what you over here doing on this interweb now, do you? <laughs> oh, okay. That's that an apology. Say it with your wig loud and proud. She says, I'm sorry. Now can you delete my job? I deleted my part. Daphne says, no. It will stay as a reminder. You took it too far. I didn't say your name. Woo, Daphne got this woman name and everything. I bet you she can find out where she stay at too. You better stop. What I say? You mess with Daphne? Daphne be the last one you mess with. This guy right here, Silly Johnson says, funny how they think they can go step for step with the biggest stepper. That's right, baby. That is right. Hot girl 2K. What she done did? Something went wrong. Try again. Did she? Did she block Daphne? Did she delete her page? It looked like she might have blocked Daphne. That's how scared she got. Woman, well, you too late. Daphne got everything that she need on you. Uh-huh. Mess with the wrong one. You'll find out. Man, this is what I'm saying. This is turned out to be a great episode of holding these broads accountable. I told him I'm into women. <laughs> no man working at a coffee shop should ask a businesswoman for her digits, you broke, broke. Wow. And this is the image of her. That's that's not a black woman if that's the image of her. But let these let, let these women tell you, like the last woman in that last post, Daphne only comes at the black woman. That that's a lie. She comes at the women of all nationalities and men as well. You be picking and choosing what you're looking for, or maybe it's the algorithm only feeding when it's a black woman that she's speaking of. So Oliver got his phone number written down right here. Before we move on to the next slide, I want to talk about this for a second. This right here, ladies, is one of the reasons why men don't want to approach women anymore. Because this is something that I be thinking about all the time that I be wanting to do. I, like, I want to do it the old school way. Write my name and number on the napkin and pass it to a young lady. But what? Let her get on the internet and share it with the world and try to bash me for just simply showing some interest in her. Fellas, later on this week, I'm gonna do a live stream while I'm walking in the park and I'm gonna put y'all on to game as far as how I approach women, what I, what I go about doing to assure or minimize, I should say, my potential chances of getting rejected, right? I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that live stream with y'all so I can talk to y'all and have a good conversation. All right, so so Daphne responds, calling someone broke when your car, Betsy, is over 20 years old is hilarious. Then you ask for tire suggestions under $40. Old ass car and you can barely afford a new tire screams broke. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. This is her. She says, I need a new tire on old Betsy. No expensive suggestions. I'm trying to spend $25 to $40 max. Uh, whoo, that's the old maximum right there. This used to be my favorite car. This this maximum. I don't know what it was about it. The maximum was my favorite car when I was 19. This, this, this exact body style. You know how long ago that was? I'll be 37 this year. Yeah, your old Betsy's still on roll. Oh, she over here responding back to Daphne Block. Why is that your response? Why you couldn't come in with something? Why you couldn't give us something tangible, something that, something that we can go off of? Block just means you were held accountable and you have no response. Brokey. <laughs> ah, these women be the real dusties. Any woman that calls a man a dusty, they, they be the real dusties. That, that's all we've seen so far, right? 
we haven't seen any real actual quality women with some actual money call a man a dusty they don't call men dusties good women that make good money don't call men dusties they don't do it i ain't seen it but y'all daphne just dropped a brand new text receipt literally as we're filming this right now let's check it out all right y'all here go the new one look i ain't read none of this so i don't know what to expect uh i don't know if this is a guy or a girl start let me read it first and then let's see hi you got stamps i was referred to you by kk all right this is a woman <laughs> i've never heard of a man over here trying to do the little little food stamp selling thing where, where they well how, how do they do it how they do it where they you let's say you got 50 dollars worth of food stamps and they charge you like 25 dollars of cash money for them 50 dollars worth of food stamps i think that's what they be doing um all right so the person responds back not much left what you need and um, the woman I'm, I'm gonna say woman for all this the woman says 80 dollars worth how much and she get a response 60 dollars cash only the woman responds back yo that's a good ass deal i'm game when can we do this she got a response when you go into the store then she responds back. I can be at the Wally World on 10th Street in 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you there. Remember, I will need the money in cash. I don't accept no other forms. She responds back. You know what? Can we do $100 worth of food stamps instead? She gets a response. That's my limit. I have to save some for my babies. So I'll need 80 in cash from you for that amount. That okay? She responds back, yes, thank you. For real, for real. You the new stamp plug. Grocery prices are wild now. Can we make this a monthly thing? She gets a response back. Yeah, but it's first come over here. I only give out 400 worth. That's the limit. You have to reach out quickly. I get them the 24th of every month. You got lucky this time. She responds back, gotcha, thanks CC. Gift the response back, how you know my nickname? My people only call me that. Uh oh, y'all, it looks like a guy. The guy says, <laughs> this your baby daddy. I knew you were selling them stamps. Now I have proof. <laughs> Since you won't let me see my kids, I'll see you in court now. <laughs> That's a crime. She responds back, I didn't sell you anything. I knew it was you, Antoine. No, you did. <laughs> How you gonna say I knew it was you after he called you CC? Before then, you didn't know. Before then, you did not know. He he had us all fooled. I was thinking he was a woman the whole time. He did a good job. And he responds back, ah, you a lie. It's over for you, CC. No need to respond back. I got the proof. She responds, Call me back. Don't do this. <laughs> he responds, five months not seeing my kids. I'm doing this. No remorse. You will be blocked. See you soon. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. That's holding women accountable and them hating every second of it. Now we are about to revisit a text receipt that is a prime example of a woman not prioritizing her man's mental health. Let's watch. So it starts off with the guy. He says, hey, babe, what's going on? I called you three times. His woman says, I'm at Judy's baby shower. It's loud over here. Are you okay? Mind you, Judy is a co-worker of hers. The guy responds, babe, I had a bad day today. Remember Tevin? He was in a car accident and the driver fled. He's on life support. The woman responds back, wow, babe, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry you had a bad day. Are you going to go see Tevin? He responds back, I can't. They won't let friends see him. And that's why I'm hurting. I've known him for 20 years and he's always been there for me. I'm crushed and scared for him. His sister said it's bad and they may take him off tonight. I hope y'all can't hear that dang on lawnmower out there, whoever cutting the grass. The woman responds back, wow, babe, I'm so sorry. The guy responds back, 
Is the baby shower almost over, babe? I need you. I'm breaking down. She responds back, no, babe. She has a lot of gifts and they're about to start opening them. Then I promise her I'll help her clean up afterwards. I'll be another two hours or so. The guy responds back, babe, please just come home. I'm feeling low and I just need a hug and comfort from you. I feel lightheaded and dizzy. I'm not handling this well. You can't have somebody else help. I need you, babe. Shame on her. Shame on her. She know good and well if this was her, she would want him to rush right home if he was at some sort of sporting event or outing. Okay. She responds, just eat something and put a warm towel over your head and relax, babe. I promise I'll be home soon. Two more hours and I'll speed right home to you. Is she a doctor? What make her think that him eating something and putting a warm towel over his head is going to help his, his, his problem right now? He is dealing with some emotional pain that's causing him to feel some physical discomfort. He know what he needs. He's asking for what he needs. Guy responds, babe, when your grandmother passed last year, I was at a baseball tournament. I had two games left and didn't play those games. I was on the first flight to you. I clearly said I'm down and you're saying your coworker baby shower is more important than my pain? You've been there for five hours. You can't stop everything for me. See, I knew it. I was right. Like I said, she expected him to come straight home and he did, but she can't do that for him. That's crazy. She responds back with the audacity. Are you kidding me? How could you bring up my grandmother? It is not the same situation. That's your childhood friend. That was my blood. You're harsh to bring her up. Wow. You're a man acting like a female. Ooh, ooh. I can't stop everything. I have obligations. And I said I'll be there in a couple of hours. The audacity. There's some people that feel like she's right. They feel like she's right. Your grandmother isn't his blood. You understand that? Your grandmother isn't his blood. But yet, he stopped everything he was doing, got on the next flight back to you for someone that's not his blood. It is the same sort of situation because it's two people losing someone that's dear to them. I know too many people that feel like the relationship that they have with a close friend is better than the ones that they have with family. So it makes that person more family to them than their own blood. It is the same situation when the people that are being hurt by it, you and him, you losing your grandmother, him potentially losing his friend, it's emotional pain. The guy responds back, I'm good. Stay at your coworkers. I'll call someone else. Thank you for showing me your true colors. Wish it didn't take two years to see it. Maybe we should take a break. I need to get my mental health in order. You don't have the time. The woman responds back, wow. You will call someone else? Is that a threat? For her to say, is that a threat? Goes to show you just how selfish she is. You're acting soft and giving me an ultimatum. Fellas, if a woman ever tells you, you acting soft, you acting like a female, you acting anything less than masculinity, you might want to go ahead and reconsider that relationship. Reevaluate it. Maybe pack your things and go. And I only say that if it's situations where you are in your right to experience and feel emotion. Two years down the effing drain. Don't text me anymore. You're clearly speaking from an emotional state. I'll let you cope. <laughs> get well and I'll get my stuff tomorrow morning. See how quick she was to run to? Did she ever care about this man? Did she ever respect him? 
this is supposed to be the time where she realized the error in her way and run to him fight for him he responds back it'll be down in the line by now Man, that's crazy is there any more she responds back don't touch my stuff i'm serious you're tripping now i'm on my way home now she on her way home <laughs> see what i meant by her being selfish it's wild the guy responds wow so when i tell you i'm feeling down you're busy but when I tell you your clothes will be on the lawn, you're on your way home. Wow. Yeah. Come get your. Exactly. Exactly. She responds. My clothes are expensive. I'm on my way. You're acting brand new now. Unbelievable. The guy responds. You haven't seen unbelievable. She is unbelievable. The fact that her clothes is so important to her that she's willing to be left by her man and willing to leave this baby shower when all she had to do was go home and be of some emotional support to a man, because all men deserve that. But your clothes is the most important thing in the world to you. I told you she was selfish. I told y'all. Remember, we don't hate women over here. We love women. We just dislike the bad ones, the ones that can go to H-E double hockey stick. That's the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. All links to everything that I spoke about, y'all going to find down below. See ya.